this is Jeff Lee with Jeff Lee Landscaping and we are going to test the water in the fountain reclamation project that we're currently working on. So we've taken our sample and now we're going to see what kind of chlorine level, sanitizer basically. That's what sanitizes the water and keeps it from turning green uh, and getting guppies in it. Um, so we're going to put five drops of our first regent and we're going to put five drops of our second regent and we should have very little if not if any chlorine at all because this is fresh water. Five drops and we're not showing any signs of chlorine yet so that means that we do need to add chlorine. Now we're going to test the pH. The pH is the most critical one to eliminate scale and calcium on any water feature. Even a dish of water for your dog and cat if you notice. You're going to see scale around the edge of the bowl. This, our water is just so darn hard and has so many minerals and calcium in it. So now we're going to test the pH. We put five drops of this regent in. And as you can see it's very dark red which means that our pH level is extremely high right now which will create scale on a water feature. If you notice how red that is, it's almost the color of blood. We need to be down in here in the 7-2 range. We are up probably pushing 9 or 10 on the pH scale. So that tells you why you're getting so much scale on your water features, whether it's a pool, fountain, even just in a dish of water. So the key is to keep the, water, the, the pH level down at least to 7-2. Since you're not swimming in a fountain, you could actually go a little lower if you wanted to, but you've got to be careful. If you put too much acid in there, it'll start to eat away at the finish of the plaster, tile, grout, anything. So what we're going to do now, we know we've got a high pH. We're going to calculate how much water is in our pond. We did the calculation on that. It's about 35, 40 gallons. And now we're going to treat it with a pH reducer. We're going to bring the pH down. It's very critical though on a small body of water you have to use granular acid. You can't use muriatic acid in a gallon form. It's too concentrated. So on a small body of water we're going to use granular acid and put small amounts in it until we get the pH corrected to where we're at least in the 7.2 to 7.5 range. That's neutral pH. That's where the human body is. So we'll show you how that result goes on our next post.